Good evening. After nine hours of deliberation, the jury found a Dixon County father guilty of murdering his son. New Channel 5's Chris Davis has been our eyes and ears in the courtroom during the Joseph Daniels trial since the beginning, and he has the latest from Dixon County. When Joseph Daniels walked through this doorway, it was the last time he would be considered innocent until proven guilty. And I'm told that the jury has reached a verdict. Because just moments later. As to the charge of first degree murder and the perpetration of a felony crime, how does the jury find? Seven women and five men from Chattanooga would decide his guilt was proven. Guilty, sir. The jury found Joseph Ray Daniels guilty of first degree felony murder, second degree murder, aggravated child abuse, initiating a false report, and tampering with evidence. All right, that concludes our business then. This court stands adjourned. The prosecution ended their day with hugs. Joseph's family walked out of the courthouse in tears. I think they made a decision in keeping with what they thought the evidence showed. Jake Lockard, a public defender and lead counsel for Joseph Daniels, told reporters it was always going to be an uphill fight. When your client had, uh, had made the initial confessions and then continued to make phone calls and ride with cops and try to tell them where the body was, write letters and more phone calls from prison, that it was making it extremely difficult to defend his case. But Lockard felt like they still had a strong chance until Alex Nolan took the stand. The 11 year old testified in detail how Joseph beat his half brother Joe Clyde Daniels, carried his unconscious body outside and down the road. We've gone three years without having a sibling testifying that he saw a murder, but we had that in this trial. Many in the community told us this was finally justice for Joe Clyde. We wanted to talk to the district attorney about that, but he declined, perhaps in part because this might not all be over. Joseph Daniels still plans to fight this. We had a lot of reversible errors in the trial, and so He's advised he wants to pursue an appeal, so we'll file a motion for new trial, and then after that, uh, we'll pursue his appeal. Do you feel like Judge Wolf gave you a fair shake? I think the judge did uh, what he thought was right. Regardless of what happens next, Joseph walked out of the courtroom, not only losing his trial, but also the presumption of innocence. In Charlotte, Chris Davis, News Channel 5. Joseph Daniels will spend tonight in Riverbend Maximum Security Prison, and he will face Judge Wolf again for sentencing in September. Coming up tonight at 6, we'll hear how people who live in the area are reacting to the verdict.